in the following presentation, you guys will see a understanding of steroid cycles and bodybuilding. This is just for entertainment and it's a documentary of what real bodybuilders do to reach their goals. What is up guys? How you guys doing? Good? Yeah, me too. I want to tell you guys something. So, I'm a paramedic, first off. Now, this is the thing. When you are going to start anabolic steroids, and uh, remember one thing in this topic, I do not condone the use of steroids by any means. This is only in, you know, a documentary that's gonna actually be good for the industry because it's gonna help create this form of direction of not to do things wrong. So it's very important what I'm gonna tell you. When people start, some bodybuilders, they do not know this. And when you're taking the gear, steroids, they have to take aspirin, most of them. So consult your doctor when you get your prescription test or your prescription medications. You should be aware of what you're allergic to. They have to do an allergic panel to verify what are you allergic to. And also, if you're getting sources from other places, for all means, find a way to test it. It's better to lose, you know, 10 IUs or 5 IUs to test your shit. Make sure it's right that what you're putting in your body makes sense because you don't, the last thing you want is to receive something that's a synthol or some other compound that's not what you ordered or what the doctor gave you. So remember, go to your doctor, get your prescription. It is possible and uh, maximize your full potential. Enhance yourself the right way. So this is the thing with the aspirin. This is how it looks. And this is 81 milligrams. For, so before you pin, you should go ahead and take this. So you need to know this because your blood thickens. You need your blood in your, in your, in your body to act as a machine like the oil inside a car. So, this is what you do. You grab it and let's say, I'm gonna put it out, okay? And then you do is, you place it in your mouth, you drink water. So that's, that's about eight ounces of water. I just pour it down. That's the way to do it. Now, another thing, to maximize the potential of the gear that you're about to take. A lot of people don't do this either. Don't, you got to pace yourself. So let's say you got Anavar. Anavar. And what I'm gonna show you right here is calcium in the form of a heart. Guys. So let's say this calcium Anavar, you, need, you wanna take it right in the morning. Why? Because you're about to pin. And what it does is, it's creating this chain in your body, this mechanism, and all these fragments are gonna combine together when you're painting all this gear. So to maximize the potential of the other compounds you're about to use, you also grab it. So I'm using calcium, this calcium, but Anivar looks like this, it comes in different colors, and it's like a shape of a heart, see? And what you do is you do the same thing. So this is calcium, I'm gonna take it. Now that that's ready, the best and most important part of all is that you guys need to understand that this video is for only entertainment. It's a documentary. It is not an instruction to go and do wrong. Remember, do not do steroids. Do not do anything bad. Do not break the law. And by any means, do not listen to me. Remember, I am not an expert, but I am a health professional. And I am here 
to advise everybody not to do this. But if you do it, remember, it has to be legal and it has to be in a way that it's not gonna damage your body. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna show you guys what a real bodybuilder would do with a cycle. One more thing, one more thing. You could see in the industry how a lot of bodybuilders take forearms, but with the Anabar, you want it to paste in your system like that. So you don't take like the entire dose at one time. You take it during the day, like with vitamins. So you would do 10 milligrams, then 10 at three hours later, then uh, 20 milligrams when you're about to work out. And then when you go to sleep, you take, you know, the last dose. That's how they've been doing it. I'm not advising you guys to do it, but I wanted to tell you that that's what's happening. And it's, uh, to me, it's amazing to see how this works in the body because I love science. So let's go. And I'm gonna show you what happens in a cycle with the body. So for this cycle, I'll be dramatizing the use of anabolic steroids, and that is testosterone, two mLs. That's 250 milligrams. This is winning, one mL, or 50 milligrams. And this is equipoise, 250 milligrams. This, I'll be using for the waste of all the steroids that's left out. So what I do is I just put it right in and then I inject the same thing for the water. So, here we go. You guys can see, we got some gains. You go from one side to the other to the other. Remember, I do not condone the use of steroids. This is just for education purposes and entertainment. It's water-based. This is not real. So, ethne and Avocate. And the way that you will actually do it, you will now go slowly, slowly, slowly. Remember that when you pin, at the end of your pin, you should always massage the area. You know, just do a little massage so you don't have a lump or anything. And uh, this is what real bodybuilding is all about. Some people would do two pins a week. Sometimes up to three pins a week. Now, with testosterone, you always wanna go low if you're trying to lose some weight. Just one second. You would always use alcohol swab, a new one, of course. And you would just rub one side like that, and then rub the other. This massage. Yep. Now, um, with Winstrol, with Winstrol, some people say that it is a compound that's supposed to be used at the end of the cycle, maybe two weeks max. But if you're cutting weight, you're in zero carbs, and you already did three weeks, you could use it. Every, every day, <clears throat> some people do, for about one week. That's what they would do. They use it for one week. I'm not saying do it, but that's what they do. Now, I know some bodybuilders like to put a band-aid on this 
so I'm going to dramatize what they do. Grab a band-aid. So let's say I pinned. I would just put the band-aid on like that. So, see? That's what you do. Now, with the leftover, on this, I already poured this in a cup. Um, you would add it in here. So what I did is I left a residual of a H2O water in there. And I would put it in. So I'll wait for that. I'll mix it with the test and the equipoise that's left. Um, which it, if it was the equipoise. Now for this one, you want to go to the other arm and do the same thing. So equipoise comes in many forms. Um, equipoise is called, you know, full bollock, or you could find it a kino, and uh, it's undecanate. And it will come like at 250 milligrams per ml. Some can come less, some way more. I know a lot of people use, they're not supposed to, but they do it. They use the veterinary uh, prescription, you know, for animals one, which is very high class, very expensive. The model is $27,800. So lifting yesterday, I had the barbell and I was doing, you know, some chest and then all of a sudden just move to the side. <laughs> I know it's crazy. For this one, it's going to be uh, dramatized. Remember, commentary only. This is for instructional um, education purposes only. I am a health professional. And remember, do not try this at home. So, bodybuilding, they would Remember, it's dramatized. They would actually pin 250, and what they do is they grab the syringe, and you always wait for that tiny little bubble to come out. So what happens is that little bubble, it will lubricate the entrance into your muscle. So, they'll, you swab, one side, you turn it over, and then you swap. That's the correct way. Correct way. From one side to the other, to the other you draw your imaginary rectangle or triangle, and then you try to go right in the center. Pour it down. There you go. And drive it You always, uh, you always want to leave your arm relaxed, completely, completely relaxed, and it would look something like that. And remember, I am going to do a transformation, and it's going to be epic. If you want to subscribe to my channel, I really appreciate it. I also appreciate your likes. I appreciate you guys being with me in this journey, doing this documentary, and you know, just uh, for the future, I will not let you guys down. I will, uh, I will keep you updated in everything I do. There is ways to stay motivated. You have to stay motivated in life. Life is not just, um, you know, you suffer, you have to sit down in the house and not do anything. And, uh, you know, you just have to go do the things and uh, find ways to make uh, positive energy happen. So, let's say it's already been, um, it's almost in, right? What you do is you do the same thing with equipoise. Equ equipoise, is one of the actual less harmful antibiotic steroids 
in the industry. People love it because it has almost the same effect of DECA without all the side effects. And it's safe. It's, uh, remember, you don't have to go crazy amount of doses. So just give me one second. Just uh, dramatizing how you would actually do this, but I gotta keep it real. And you know, there's children, there's people that are sensitive to views, and I am doing this only commentary. This is for a documentary that I'm doing on bodybuilding. Just stay focused. And you just, see, you can massage the area like that. Let's do the same thing. Bodybuilders like to stay clean. And you should always do this properly. So you massage the area. Like that. Okay. It, it does not hurt. Let's say I was doing it for real. This would not hurt at all. Um, people like to do it in the afternoon because their workouts are in the afternoon. You got food in the system that means you're gonna actually reach the max potential. So what you do is you just put the band-aid on and it would look something like that, like that. So that, let's say a bodybuilder just pinned two, two of them. Now, what's left, one stroke. The windstorm is gonna dry your muscles out. It's gonna give you that grainy effect. Some people say you could not build muscle on a windstorm. I say they are wrong because your mom, if you work out for an hour or two, you know, so you work out one hour and a half, and you did 30 minutes of cardio, and you lift weights after that, and you're eating food consistently six, seven times a day, you're gonna build muscle. Now, what it does is makes your muscle round. It gives you that little cut that you like to see, grainy look. So this is this compound comes oral and it comes in liquid. It looks white like that. Some people find it um, from Europe, different color. I say always test your things, make sure it's right. Some of them would have a label on the back and it will give you a code and you go inside and you type it. Everything I have is dramatized. It's, um, and if I have something is prescribed. Remember, this is commentary only and for a documentary. Again, when what you do is you already went one side, the other. Say so you did windstroll yesterday in this arm. So that means you gotta do windstroll in this arm. So since yesterday, I did the Winnie right here. I'm gonna go ahead and do the Winnie over here in this one. And that would be the dose for the day. So the same thing, you wanna stay sterile. So you go and do the same. So we're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna show you guys. This is my armpit all the way one side to the other. You draw that line, and you're gonna go right in the center. So for this one, I'm gonna go right there, right? Pour this out, make sure it's out. See, so you relax your muscle, and you go slowly. Sometimes it'll take a little bit to go in, depending on your workout, depending how much you did the other day, if you're swollen or not, you'd be surprised. Remember, Winnie is a water base. It goes fast, faster than any other anabolic steroid. This is the steroid of winners. It actually is used, been used since 1950s. 
and it was elaborated by scientists to give athletes a edge running, physical endurance, CrossFit training and all. So you would actually pin it really fast. So let's say he already finished because the other ones are, are oil based, right? So what he does, he'll do the same thing. He will pull out, you could see he would pull this out like that, slowly and gently. And of course he would put it down, he would grab a new one and he would massage it. Some bodybuilders say that this hurts. Um, it would uh, create a sensation that's hard to work out. In uh, my personal experience, I could say under my research, under commentary that, uh, no, it's not that bad. Um, unless you're like swollen like crazy, no. Now, Deca, Dura, Dura Woman, that one. If you pin in the quad or something, you're gonna feel that one. But it's because, um, Sometimes it helps you lubricate the joints if you're doing a small doses, pretty cool. But for some reason, it'll make you go ballistic. Like if you were lifting 12 for bench press three times, you're gonna lift 25 like 10 times. No joke, no joke at all. So for this cycle, we're dramatizing what a bodybuilder would do on a cycle of testosterone and enanthate, windstrom and equipoise. Now you see these lying around, they were poured out in a cup. So what they would do, it's crazy. A lot of people don't know this. You have a syringe, a little tiny one. So you would open it, you would pull the air out and then you would open the top and I know this is crazy, but this is, you know, education purposes, I gotta show you. So what they'll do is they'll pull the top, place it somewhere, and then they'll, they'll grab the syringe. Did you be surprised how much was left you're throwing away? You put it in the top like that, you pull back, and you pull in, pull back, 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 pull in. Like that. Till everything is out. So now that everything is out, they do the same thing with the testosterone. Okay. Watch this. Same thing. Testosterone is a little bit more thick. You can hear it. Come out. It's thicker. See? So they'll do that. And of course, that's done. Same thing with the Winnie. I know Winnie is water based, so they're mixing oil with Winnie. So they'll do this. And it's easy to come out. It's water. You see? Now you'd be surprised. I'm going to show you guys how much people are throwing away. So people be saying, oh my God. Um, I pinned 250 of equipoise today, and I pinned uh, 250 of uh, testosterone today. And look how much they are wasting. So what you do is you go right on the top and you just place it. And you turn it around like that. You hit it a couple of times. So everything comes out the bottom and then slowly you remove the cap and you will do this slowly and gentle slowly and gentle i want to show you how much people are wasting that's left in the needle so right here you can see that's 15 i use 15 i use so that could have like been the difference in your cycle or winning a show, a competition. 
So remember this little tip. Remember, this is commentary only. I do not condone the use of steroids. Do not do this at home. I am not a doctor, but I am a paramedic and I am a health professional. So I'm showing you guys. It's crazy, right? It's pretty crazy. So that's 15 I use of the three mixture of steroids. And it could be anything they're doing. So, yeah, this documentary is pretty awesome. Because, you know, as a scientist, I can show the world what's going on in bodybuilding. And they'll do the same thing. The way for the first drop to go out, right? Now, let's say that they're gonna pin this after their workout. We're gonna go ahead and show you. I'm not gonna do it for real time. I'm gonna pour this out. There we go. And let's say they did two pins over here, so they're going in the other arm now. So what they'll do is the same thing. They'll grab anywhere. Some people like to do it local. Like let's say your bicep. This is, man, I've been doing so much research and I'm in shock with what people would do. But the, like, like this, let's say their bicep is smaller than the left arm or right arm. So they'll go directly to the bicep and they'll inject that in there. And uh, in reality, you have to go so deep into the muscle, like uh, some people use a one inch, but if you're thicker, you have to use a one and a half inch needle. You gotta go all the way in. So the anabolic actually effect works. And remember that without food, the anabolic steroids are not gonna work. So you have to eat. If you're doing keto, you better be eating like six times keto in a day. If you're doing one, one meal a day, do that for a week. Um, but you have to have between days and every 21 days you have to have carbs in your diet. If not, you're gonna lose muscle mass. So again, they'll do like that one side and then you turn it over and you go and do that like that right Let, let's say they're pinning this oh i'm gonna go work out and it's time to work out they're like dude i'm gonna pin this in my muscle so what they'll do is they'll grab their tricep or whatever and they'll just go in so this is the needle it's already poured out and remember it's kind of commentary only this is the documentary this is uh, for education purposes and to show the world what anabolic steroids do. So, we'll just go fast. And they'll pin. And this shouldn't take a long time because remember, it's small. And uh, a lot of people get so tired of the thick needles, they'll use these to pin all um, week around. So they'll pin like 50, 50, 50, 50, 50 every day to the reach what they wanted to do in the first place. Because it doesn't hurt. You don't feel it. It's like a mos it's less than a mosquito bite. So and they won't uh, waste their steroids. So let's say that's already pinned out. So they do the same thing. They'll remove like that, it's already in. So they didn't waste their 15 I use. And of course, they'll grab and pass it and pass it back. Sterile always. So now that that's done, proper way to dispose of a needle is you put the cap on in all of them. And then you go to the you know pharmacy or whatever they have these uh, containers that you could actually use for this and uh, you put this on the container inside the container sharp container and this sharp container there's gonna be a company that picks it up and it charges you like $20 so you buy a big one that means you just call the number and they'll come and pick it up for you for like whatever 10 bucks depending on the size if not Go to the closest paramedic area that you have in the emergency room and just give it to them. They know what to do with it. And they will do it by law. They have to. So, so that's it. So I hope you guys like it. Remember to subscribe to my channel. 
remember to hit that like button and comment below. Just let me know exactly uh, what, what else you guys want to see in this documentary. And, um, you know, I will keep it professional. And uh, remember, it's for commentary only and documentary only. This is not real. And this is for entertainment. And so the world can see what antibiotics do in a human being to transform from the state of, of obesity, obesidad, to rip shredded app magazine worth physique. So hit me up and remember to subscribe. Get you some. <clears throat> I know that I don't look that good right now, but I wanted to keep it real and I am doing everything and putting all the work in to transform so you guys can see everything in reality i'm very humbled um you know i gotta feel good showing my body and uh practicing this posing and everything i know i, I don't know a lot about posing but i am doing everything to learn it and uh as you can see this is uh, my back this is almost the day four day four on uh, week seven so um, I got already week eight in I'm editing the video for you guys um, I actually I actually look better and um, hey what could I say I really appreciate you guys watching my channel and uh, you know subscribing and you know everything um, this does work um, it really does and I honestly don't regret it. I have uh, haven't had any side effects or anything. I will be talking more about it. What is up? How you guys doing? You guys good? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Me too. Me too. I see you right there, man. <laughs> hey, I want to talk about anabolic steroids, and this is the thing with anabolic steroids for a cycle and. What's happening is I got this friend and this friend is maximizing his potential by using this week Equipoise at 250 milligrams two times a week. Also testosterone at 250 milligrams this week two times. And, and he is also using Anivar to times in the day a total of 60 milligrams so for him it's been working like crazy amazing 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 now he's also doing the keto keto diet which helps you burn fat but he's doing one day keto one day carnivore one day keto one day carnivore one day keto. This is just one a little experiment carnivore. I wanted to do. And this and is amazing. Doing one day I keto. I mean, around your board. midsection, so, all the way, and using antibar to cut. I thought it was. I thought it was impossible. And and this guy's actually. You know, and uh, trying to do some experiments and find so, out uh, what antibar does said, in a cutting cycle. And uh, I found out that you could actually um, lose you know, um, some fat because. You're actually trying to eat a little bit, you know, less because it won't, I don't know, it doesn't allow you to eat more. So, I mean, six times on keto day and then on carnivore, I'm just eating the three carnivore, you know, just chicken or steak and eggs. And it, it works because I've been losing weight and, uh, you know, around my midsection, and also gaining muscle which is crazy because of glycogen levels you know on keto glycogen levels go down and you know i'm filling up so it's crazy how this works remember i do not condone the use of steroids in my personal experience um, i'm doing uh, every 21 days i eat uh, carbs I allow myself to eat 100 grams of carbs so I feel replenished and ready for the next week um, so 
it's been uh, crazy, but it's working perfectly. Um, uh, you kind of sense when your body, uh, you experiment with uh, these types of compounds uh, that you actually feel better. You know when you're ready to eat carbs again. So it works. So if you really want to cut some weight, just lower your carb intake. I can tell you a couple of things. Just remember to stay safe. Focus, completely focus. And whatever you do, stay with me in this Celia Transformation. Get you some. Always remember that every obstacle is a test and an opportunity in life. I mean it. Like button and subscribe. Subscribe. There you go. Good job. Thank you.